Oracle mobile application exploration video, we're going to investigate how it supports maps. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Newitt from the Oracle mobile platform team. Oracle Maps is capable of displaying maps for either showing a marker plotting a single point of interest, for example, the location of an employee or a place, or maps can also plot multiple points of interest mapped as markers, so you can see their relative distance from each other on the overall map. In plotting the markers on these maps, Max is capable of either plotting geolocation codes, that is, latitude or longitudes, or, even more useful, human readable addresses, which gets translated by Max automatically to latitude and longitude behind the scenes. So, building an app to support maps in Max, <laughs> too many maps in Maxes, is exceptionally easy. Let's dive in and see how it's done. So, here we have a Max app that is currently showing a list of an employees from an MCS API. If we select one of the employees, we go down to a detail screen that shows more information on the employee that was selected. As we can see, the employee has a human readable address, so it would be good to plot this location on a map. As such, on the detail screen, I'll change the page to include tabs and set the tab names to details and location. On the Location tab, I'll drop a map. On selecting the Properties option, we can change options like Best Fit for the Available Points for when we have multiple points to display, or Center on a location suitable for one point. Now, as we're going to show the employee's location only, the second option is for us here. We'll now bind the map to the employee's location. On switching to the Data tab, we see our first choice is to choose are we plotting a map with multiple or single points. We'll take single for the current employee. Next, we will map this to our employees object. For the location value for the map, we can either drop a geolocation of the employee, that is, a comma-separated latitude or longitude set of values, or a human readable address. Now, as we have a formatted address here, we'll use that address. On returning to the preview mode, straight away we can't see the outcome, with the employee's location plotted for us to see against the map. Alrighty, so this shows how to plot a single location, but how do you plot multiple locations? Returning to our app, if we go back to the parent list screen that shows all employees, Maybe it would be good to include a map that shows all the employees relative to each other. To satisfy this need, we'll change this page to include tabs too, and on the location tab, we'll drop a map. Within the properties option this time, we'll select best fit for the available points. This means the map will zoom in and out of the map to whatever size allows us to see all the available markers. From there, on the data tab, we leave the default multiple points selected. And then, when mapping to the employee's object, just like previous, we use the address field. On returning to the preview mode, you can now see the set of markers plotted around San Francisco. Now, in order to tap on one of the markers and drill down to the tapped employee, we want to add a marker tap action. For the tap action, we specify that we want to navigate to the same employee detail screen for the tapped employee, rather than creating a new screen. Once we set up the action, we then need to tell Max how it works out which employee to display when it navigates from the map to the employee detail screen. To do this, we select the data mapper button. And in the resulting screen, we can see that the detail screen needs to know which employee ID to query for. So, from the current map screen and the available fields, we drag the parent screen's ID field, which represents the tapped employee in the map, to the query parameters of the detail screen. As there is two query parameters, we will supply both. Having done this, if we return to the preview mode, then run, on selecting the locations tab, we can see all the employees. And when we tap on this employee in Oakland, we can see the details of the employee Eleanor that we just tapped. 
As you can see, adding maps to your Max apps is a relatively painless exercise with immediate benefit to your roaming mobile users who want to see where they are on those maps. As you can see, adding maps to your Max apps is a relatively painless exercise with immediate benefit for your roaming mobile users who want to see maps. So thanks for joining us. Hope you found this video useful and catch you in another video soon.